What's up, guys? Christopher Fenton here. Hello, hi, how, how you doing? I just want to make a video contract, kind of. I'm going to Lightbox 2023 if I can get 30 before July. If I really want to go to this animation convention, this Lightbox Expo 2023, then I will show myself that by challenging myself to this list. I mean, some of it's simple, some of it, it's, the hardest part is doing it. So I'm just gonna, I just gotta do it, right? It's a lot to think about. I mean, where, I, where I'm at, but the thing is, think about after this, after doing all these and going to Lightbox, then see where I'm at. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what I got. I know I can. There's no excuse, really, so. I just want to make a video documentary, documenting that I want to stick to it because if you're, if you're anything like me, it's hard to do the things that you need to do without getting distracted. I get very distracted. I get very lazy. I have fun. I like to have fun. Gets in the way of things that I like to do. Therefore, I'm trying to set this incentive program, right? You know, trying to get into the industry. And I would like to go to Lightbox Expo this year, but it's not cheap. It's not free. I mean, even if it was free to get in, I don't live in California. So getting to Pasadena is going to cost a moolah and getting an Airbnb money, you know what I mean? So instead of just doing that just because I can, I mean, it's not cheap, so it's not free. And I wanna do all three days because I'm not traveling that far just to do one day. I'm doing all three days. October 27, 28, 29. Plus, fun fact, your boy Chris Fenton is gonna be 30 on the October 23. So I'm gonna be going into Lightbox Freshly 30 years old, meeting everybody saying, yo, what's up? I'm 30, I'm trying to get in. And they're gonna be like, awesome, great, <laughs> you know? At Lightbox, wow, that'll be perspective for you. Cause I'm already, I already had these like, I'm almost 30 blues, or it's like, what am I doing with my life? Why am I just now getting out of school, yada, yada. So that might be a perspective, but also I think it's gonna be very encouraging. Plus, if I can get this challenge done, my skills are gonna improve that much more. I know they will. And that's why I want to force myself to do this. Yeah, so challenge accepted. My incentive, if I can get 60%, which is about 30, 30 of these done before July 4th, should be no smoke, no problem, you know? So I'm giving myself about five, almost six months. I think July 1st, I can have most of this done, this challenge. Now let me explain the challenge so that we don't get off track here. The challenge, I found a list on animatorsisland.com. I'll leave the link in the description. And it's 51 animation exercises to do <laughs> to make you a better animator. And it's in levels, which is pretty cool. There's four levels, you know, grow. Level one, I'm gonna read them real quick. Ball bounce in place. Two, ball bounce across the screen. Three, brick falling from shelf to ground. Four, character head turn. Simple. Five, character head turn and with anticipation. Six, character blinking. Seven, character thinking. Eight, flower sack waving loop. Nine, flower sack jumping. Ten, flower sack falling. Eleven, flower sack kicking a ball. You can't get the benefit of push-ups by not, by reading about it. All right, level two. Mm. Twelve, character change in emotion. 13, character jumping over a gap. 14, stand from sitting. 15, walk cycle. 16, character on a pogo stick. 17, laughing, I like that. 18, sneezing. 19, reaching an object overhead. 20, quick motion smear blur. 21, taking a deep breath. 22, a tree falling, wow. 23, character being hit by something, simple. Run cycle. All right, level three. Bum, bum, bum. 25, close up of open hand closing into fist. 26, close up of picking up a small object. Ooh, maybe like a penny? I don't know. 27, character lifting a heavy object with purpose. 28, overlapping action. You know, fluffy hair, floppy ears, dangly necklace or a tail. 29, character painting. 30, hammers in a nail. Mm -hmm. 31, stirring a soup pot and tasting from the spoon. I like 32, character blowing up a balloon. 33, character juggling on a loop. Well, then that character would be a better juggler than me because I can do it the one or two, three times. It all falls down. 
I juggle it all, but it all falls down. 34, scared character peeing. 34, scared character peering around a corner. If you guys try to join in on this and you want to make a character peeing around the corner, keep it PG-13. Okay. 36. Nope, sorry. 35. Starting to say something, but unsure how. 36. Zipping up a jacket. That's a good one. What kind of weird ways can you do that? Like, let someone go, whoops. No. 37, licking and sealing an envelope. That's a cool idea, yeah. 39, standing up from the ground, pressing an elevator button and waiting. Now we're at level four. Character eating a cupcake. Wow. My weakness. No. 41, object falling into a body of water. Two characters playing tug of war. Cool, cool. 43, character dealing a deck of cards out. Oh, I like this one. 44, full process of brushing one's teeth. The entire process. So I have to animate a character driving to the dollar store, buying, searching for toothpaste, buying said toothpaste. Driving back, stinky breath. Gets home, says, okay, good thing I did already have a toothbrush and didn't have to buy a new one at the dollar store because that already took me long enough. At the sink in his bathroom, looks in the mirror, goes, here we go. <laughs> onto the toothbrush, elbow, wrist. Ear, 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 you know, onto his teeth. Cleaning them, they're clean now. No more food. Also, he has a bur breakfast burrito on his way. I can show that he cleaned his teeth. Very cool. No, I do like it though. 45, a single piece of paper dropping through the air. That's fun. 46, run across screen with change in direction. It doesn't say animate that. <laughs> 47, sleeping character startled by an alarm, then returning to sleepy state. What is a sleepy state? It's not New York. 48, opening a cupboard and removing something from the cupboard that is inside of it. 49, putting on a pair of pants. I'm guessing one leg at a time. That's how we like to do it around here. Where I'm from, one leg at a time is just fine. I might do it in 2D. I did the bouncing ball in 2D. I was like, <laughs> what an exception. One way to learn 2D, also 3D. Stink at it. Stink at both of them at the moment. So two stinky things that I'm working on this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. 50, opening the world's best gift and reacting. Easy enough. I know exactly how that feels. 51, heavy character versus light character. And they said just doing stuff, I think. I want them to do like a weight class. And I am going to do 60% by July 1st. Because that gives me enough time to start planning my trip. 60% isn't 100%. It's not overwhelming. It's only 30 of them. If I can do 30 by July 1st, that gives me time to do more if I want. I have a student reel. I did some of this stuff. I have done some of this stuff in school, but that's not the point. You know, I want to get better. I want to get better at it. But I'm excited. I want to go to Lightbox. I think it'd be very beneficial to me and my future in the animation industry and put perspective and inspiration, and, you know, help me set new goals. And then also just growing my skills with doing these exercises, the simple ones and a little more hard ones, less simple, you know, difficult, whatever. A skill will be better by the time I'm in Lightbox. I think it's very beneficial and I'm excited to do it. So this is my video contract, January. Here, I'll hold up a taquito, chicken and cheese. On this torquito, January 2023, if I, Christopher Fenton, complete 60% of my 51 animation exercises to be a better animator, list by animationisland.com, link in the description, by July 1st, 2023, I will buy three-day passes to Lightbox Expo 2023 and an Airbnb, and a flight, and save the rest of my money. Mm. There you have it, guys. You, hear, you heard it here first. Christopher Fenton is going to Lightbox Expo 2023. Now working on that diet. Am I right? Thanks for being witness to my video contract and my nonsense.